reflecting the sector's job creation potential, our government will continue to support the development and expansion of the sector in Guyana. Since the liberalization and creation of a competitive telecommunications sector, mere months after we resumed office in 2020, we have seen an extremely significant reduction in the cost of bandwidth, allowing for the expansion of the call center industry and the promise of job creation. In 2019, call centers paid 950 US dollars per megabit of data. Today, that price is 50 US dollars per megabit of data or lower. That, sir, is approximately 95% lower than it was in 2019. It has made communication costs in Guyana amongst the most competitive in the call center industry. Small wonder then, sir, that the VPO industry has created almost 2,000 jobs since we returned to office. In 2023, sir, in line with our government's agenda to ensure development and job creation across the geographic spread, we built four new call center shells, two in Essequibo and two in Barbies, with all of these facilities expected to be operational in 2024. This direct intervention by government has the potential to create 800 additional jobs within the BPO sector, with the potential to scale up to 1,600. Facilities at Enmore and Tushed are also being upgraded, with each having the capacity to employ an additional 300 persons. Mr. Speaker, in 2024, our government will construct two new call centers in Region 5, with the capacity to create an additional 800 jobs. And we will continue to work with the industry to position Guyana as a preferred BPO destination.